What's up everyone? Today I want to do some training, but I'd like to first show you a little bit of the mobility work I'm going to do prior to getting into the training. And I decided to use three tools today. So the first one is from Rumble Roller, and it's this nifty little device here. It actually uses two of these uh, ball things here. They're called Beasties, and you can actually buy these individually. Uh, this is one of my favorite tools, to be honest. And I'm also going to use the Exos Foam Roller. You've seen this in a previous video of mine as well. I did a review. Uh, this thing's pretty cool because it has all these different uh, little nubs, and they all sort of apply to different areas of the body. The third tool I'm going to use is a butter knife. And you're probably wondering why the hell I have a butter knife. This is actually to help alleviate scar tissue. Um, there is a tool that's very similar to uh, this here. You know, it's just a piece of metal and it's called Graston. And, and the technique is called Graston therapy or Graston technique. And what that basically is, is scraping along areas of the body with the dull end of the metal and that releases the scar tissue and tension in that area. So for me personally, I have a lot of issues in my ankles, so you're going to see me using it right here, and uh, I'm going to show you that in a second. Uh, but first I'd just like to quickly talk about uh, something that's been brought up on the Facebook fan page and someone made a recommendation that I should be talking about this, and it has to do with motivation. I actually continued to talk about motivation in that clip right there, but then I realized like who would really want to sit and watch me talk about that when you're going to be sitting and watching me do this mobility work anyways and, and the voiceover just makes more sense, you know, two birds with one stone. Uh, so this is that Graston Technique Therapy I was talking about, it works really well for me and uh, I like the way that it really releases that tension. Some areas feel really nervy and that's the, that's the word I like to use for it. It's almost like while I'm scraping I feel like a shooting uh, it's not a pain, but it's like a discomfort uh, along my leg or in the back of my calf, but it's kind of just normal and to be expected. So on the topic of motivation, uh, what I did want to discuss uh, was that I've been taking a little bit of time off, and I mentioned this in a previous video. Uh, the reason mostly is just because I've been so busy with work and projects and things like that, that by the end of the day, I just don't have... Uh, the energy or I guess that would be the motivation to do my training. Um, part of that is that I just don't want to sit there and mobilize for an hour or two, an hour and a half before getting into the training. Uh, I just don't want to put in that time. And, and I think it really ties in with willpower overall. Uh, this is kind of a topic that would really you know, merit its own video, but since we're already here, let's, uh, let's have the chat on it. Now, my thoughts are that if you use your willpower to execute something, uh, such as going into the gym, uh, gym and training, uh, you know, be it after work, before work, whatever it may be, as long as you're going in and putting in some sort of effort, you're executing your will and you're strengthening your willpower. So my thoughts um, during this time that I've been taking off and you know taking a little bit easy, is that even though I was taking this time off, first of all, I held that I would not experience any loss. Uh, that means loss in strength, loss in, um, uh, let's say, loss in momentum in terms of my training overall. So basically I decided I'm going to back off. Uh, it's not going to affect my overall strength over time, but what it's going to do is just allow me to kind of take it easy and deal with what i got to deal with, uh, you know, otherwise outside of the gym. And then when I get back into it, I'm confident that obviously my numbers are going to keep going up. So the main point I'd like to make is when it comes to finding motivation, Start with really simple tasks. So when you wake up in the morning, I always like to think that you want to start strong in it and finish strong when it comes to a day. So when you wake up in the morning, create a small list of things you'd like to do, you'd like to accomplish throughout the day. It can be really small. It could be like three things and you know they could be extremely basic to start. That's the whole point. You want to get each of those tasks done. And at a certain point, you're going to make that list longer you're gonna make that list more difficult when you wake up, more challenging for yourself, and that actually at a certain point, you're gonna finish that list before the end of the day, and you're gonna to continue to add things. And before you know it, you're gonna find that your day is so freaking productive that it's, it's almost flawless. So that's what I wanna talk about when it comes to motivation and execution of willpower. I didn't necessarily want to train on this particular day. Uh, it's actually a Thursday, I took my lunch time to do it. But I knew that I needed to execute my will and I knew that I needed to get some volume in. 
So that's why I did this. That's why I did the session. I actually only worked up to uh, 405 for a single, and that was after this set right here, and you're going to see why. So I had to go deal with some work stuff, and I took a pretty long rest period between the last set and this one right here. My plan was to do three reps. I'm going to get at it and see how it feels as I'm doing it, and uh, we'll go from there. So this is a perfect example of executing and demonstrating willpower because I didn't feel like going in and doing this final set. Uh, I was actually dealing with some work shit for like 15 minutes and I just fell out of the groove. So I came back in, grinded this out. Uh, normally I've gotten this <laughs> for much more reps on programming, um, but I'm pleased overall. So thank you for watching this video and I will catch you again in the next one.